welcome to virtual tutorial concept dot com hi friends today we are going to discuss about how to configure static routing in gns3 software so static routing is one of the administrator want to configure manually so we administrator must want to know source and target site location it's very secure and fast protocol so this support in 10 to 15 routers only so administrator this uh, of the static route is 0 and 1 this is a very trustworthy protocol and is very high secure protocol so this very is the performance is very good so next we are going to discuss it about how to configure in gns3 okay so you need to two router for configuring static routing because of so one is uh, so source another one is target so i am choosing uh, 2600 router two routers are on r2 so i am choosing uh, cisco switches so there are two switches i am choosing for switch one switch two then i am choosing two end machines like uh, host c1 and c2 So this for uh, uh, this for any device. This is one of the data terminal equipment. Okay. So this is switches is a data connection equipment. Router also is data connection terminal equipment. So by default the R1 router have no serial port. So we want to R1 and R2 router want to can enable the manually go on the router and go to slash want to enable that V2T interface. So once it is enabled, then click OK. So right now we are going to make the connection between router one and router two using serial cable is zero and the router two is zero zero. Okay. So both router connection has been successfully done. So now that one going to one start R one to switch one. So this connection is done. Then switch one to client one. This also connection has been done. Okay. So then next we are going to connect the router two to switch two. This also has been done. So then switch to client machine. This also has been done. Okay. So right now, our configuration topology connection has been successfully completed. So then next to start the topology. So you can click the start button. It will automatically start the routers and host all the other things. Okay. So right now go to open the. So before you can set the um what is the source, what is the target, what is the um source um, network and other things. So because this is used to power, you can easily understand the this is the source, this is the target. So Just it is one of the label text box. We can say this is a uh, router default gateway. So this is the client machine IP. This is the router two default gateway. This is the uh, client two machine uh, IP. So this is very easy to can we can easily understand. So this is one of the our uh, user user text message. Okay. So right now go to start the um, console icon. So right now we we getting the two console icon. So first go to our one router. Go to configuration mode and go to interface fast signal zero zero zero. So right now the fast signal zero IP is one eight two one six eight one dot one network. Oh, this is the our default gateway. So default must be used only by default uh, class A IP address. So no sort of command is used to uh, power on the that interface. Oh, then come back see. Okay, All right. Then going to right going to configure the serial interface. In the serial interface zero zero. This is the this has the ten point zero point zero point network and by default. Uh, class A sub must be using. So this also want to start the interface no sub command. So come back exit. Okay. So once it is com com completed, go to router two. Uh, this same configuration. Uh, only IP is different. Want to do it in the router two. So first go to pass it in zero slash zero. So IP is the one ninety two one sixty eight one dot two. Ah uh, two dot one. Then by default the sub name mask is class A. By default, sub name mask. Then want to enable the that interface. No sub name command. So come back. Then we want to configure the serial interface. Ten point zero point zero point two. Serial interface zero slash zero. Okay. So IP address. Ten point zero point zero point two. This is a connection between. This is two connection between the R one and the router via serial cable. So start the interface. No sub name. Then come back. Okay. So right now both the router one and the router two initial configuration has been successfully done. Okay, then now right now we are going to configure the virtual PC. So go to tools and the virtual PC option. Uh, by default, the first client will be default site. Uh, so I assign the IP. So IP is client IP is one two one six three one dot two. This is a twenty four bit mask. So our default gateway is our router IP address one two one six three one dot one. Okay. So once you set, you want to check what are the IP you are going to set using so IP command or short to sketch IP command. So then select the two options going to second PC. Then set the Uh, that's the second client IP address one and two one six three two dot two. Then this is twenty four bit mask. Then our default gateway is second router is one and two one six three two point one. So this also successfully done. 
then we want to check this is how to check our IP address now using stroke IP command okay so this two interface uh, right now successfully configured so okay then go your router I want to set the uh, static router using IP root command IP root so 192.162.0 is the target side then the 255 is the target side network default mask then 10.0.0.1 is the via, via of the target side network okay then go into our router to our target side right now uh, 192.168.1.0 1 network so the target side default gateway is 255 255 255.0 so with the target side we are going to via the 10.0.0.1 network so this is the basic configuration of static routing so come back exit then uh, router to also uh, have to check in the so ip root command so here showing uh, that the s symbol uh, that the s letters uh, marking the uh, static routing uh, uh, protocol output so so ip root command is to find out the what the protocol we are configuring okay then save the current configuration wr memory or copy run configuration to startup configuration okay so right now we are going to check ping between source client to 1.2 to 2.2 so ping has been successfully done so uh, our static router configuration has been successfully done okay if you have any doubt visit our website which will interview concept.com thanks for watching our video bye bye thank you